Thank you. And now, please, Ms. Marwai, please. Thank you very much, uh, Minister. Thank you so much for coming to us and sharing uh, uh, with us the priorities of the Austrian uh, uh, presidency. I particularly like the, the priority uh, of uh, strengthening uh, the external borders uh, of the European uh, Union and uh, fighting uh, illegal uh, migration. Let's make no mistake uh, in this uh, committee, this uh, priority does have a gender dimension, so to say, gender dimension. This priority has particular importance for the women of Europe. Why am I saying this? Based on experience. Even though I am Hungarian, and lots of people say that in Hungary, you have no experience with migration. We do have experience with migration. Uh, early uh, on in 2015, me as a, uh, as a lawyer uh, specializing in women's rights and member of European Parliament, I was invited to the south of Hungary where uh, masses of Muslim migrants arrived and fundamentally uh, changed the lives of local women in that rural community. There was fear, uh, there was a, a violation of uh, dignity, the whole everyday life of local women changed for the worse. Let me share a couple of experiences. Uh, because the thing is that uh, most politicians live such a, uh, uh, such a special uh, privileged life that uh, they don't really meet those uh, uh, women who have to suffer from the effects of migration. So what are these effects? Of course, these men come from a very different culture. They were born and raised uh, to, uh, to think that women have very different roles from what we in Europe think they have. And they get extremely stressed and extremely angry when they arrive to Europe and see women uh, not being covered, women going out to work, women uh, 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 using public transportation without uh, being accompanied by a man, and they get aggressive. Uh, uh, and that's what uh, these women experienced. They uh, uh, couldn't go home uh, alone uh, from work. They had to completely rearrange their life. They couldn't uh, uh, use their bicycle from one end of the village to the other because they were attacked uh, by men who were not happy that, uh, uh, what does this woman do alone uh, on, a, on a bicycle? Women uh, uh, in these farming communities uh, who sometimes were alone in the evenings with their children were in complete uh, fear because uh, they were uh, uh, verbally attacked and so on. This is a very delicate issue. Can we expect the Austrian uh, presidency to actually deal with these issues? First of all, there should be uh, a, a major uh, research exploring the experiences of European women uh, about uh, the effects of uh, mass, mass migration. Uh, I, uh, uh, as an academic uh, working with women's rights, I definitely would suggest uh, and recommend the Austrian presidency to do so. And uh, I very much like the motto of your presidency, Europe that protects. I hope that this will be true uh, in the sense of Europe that protects European women and girls. I wish you uh, all the best for that. Thank you. Now, an Austria that protects. Uh, an Austria that protects. This is something which we need to look at various different levels, not just in the context of illegal immigration. 
As far as illegal migration and the topic of migrants uh, which you raised goes, of course, we want to prevent illegal migration in Europe. I think we all agree on that, but we have to help those who need help. And it shouldn't be the traffickers in the end who decide who comes to Europe. It should be member states who decide who comes to Europe. And I think what is important for all of us uh, is that uh, we bring an end to the massive flows of migrants who are crossing the Mediterranean at the moment and be able to decide ourselves who can come to Europe and who cannot.